Fibonacci fans and channels are quite similar in that they can be used to project trend lines. In most cases, there's a lot of overlap and both tools can be used, without one necessarily being better than the other. Though a channel can be more limited in terms of being applicable to less situations compared to the Fibonacci fan, since it requires three points and a more defined channel structure. Whereas a Fibonacci fan just requires two points and can be drawn from many different swing points. When we have both the fan and channel, there is slight variation and plenty of overlap in terms of their coverage and intersection with this main reversal area. Now with this new uptrend retracing and continuing higher, there's a demonstration of how a Fibonacci fan is more versatile and can be applied right from the start. Whereas a Fibonacci channel is more limited in terms of needing more clear channel structures to develop in order to get more suitable placement as the trend develops further. In any case, the end result with both these tools has an intersection with the upswing point at this key range during the uptrend's continued development.